In mathematics, Hilbert's syzygy theorem is one of the three fundamental theorems about polynomial rings over fields, first proved by David Hilbert in 1890, which were introduced for solving important open questions in invariant theory, and are at the basis of modern algebraic geometry. The two other theorems are Hilbert's basis theorem that asserts that all ideals of polynomial rings over a field are finitely generated, and Hilbert's Nullstellensatz, which establishes a bijective correspondence between affine algebraic varieties and prime ideals of polynomial rings. Hilbert's syzygy theorem concern the relations, or syzygies in Hilbert's terminology, between the generators of an ideal, or, more generally, a module. As the relations form a module, one may consider the relations between the relations. Hilbert's syzygy theorem asserts that, if one continues in this way, starting with a module over a polynomial ring in n indeterminates over a field, one eventually finds a zero module of relations, after at most n steps. Hilbert's syzygy theorem is now considered to be an early result of homological algebra. It is the starting point of the use of homological methods in commutative algebra and algebraic geometry. Topic: History. The syzygy theorem first appeared in Hilbert's seminal paper, Über die Theorie der algebraischen Formen, 1890. The paper is split into five parts, part 1 proves Hilbert's basis theorem over a field, while part 2 proves it over the integers. Part 3 contains the syzygy theorem, theorem 3, which is used in part 4 to discuss the Hilbert polynomial. The last part, part 5, proves finite generation of certain rings of invariants. Incidentally part 3 also contains a special case of the Hilbert-Birch theorem. Topic. Syzygies relations Originally, Hilbert defined syzygies for ideals in polynomial rings, but the concept generalizes trivially to left modules over any ring. Given a generating set G 1 G K display style G underscore 1 L dots G underscore K of a module M over a ring R, a relation or first syzygy between the generators is a k-tuple a 1 a k display style a underscore 1 L dots a underscore k of elements of R such that a 1 g 1 plus plus a K G K equals zero. Display style a underscore one G underscore one plus C D O T S plus A underscore K G underscore K equals zero. Let L zero Display style L underscore zero be the free module with basis G one G K Display style G underscore one L dots G underscore K The relation a one A K Display style underscore one L dots underscore K may be identified with the element a one G one plus plus a k g k display style underscore 1 g underscore 1 plus c d o t s plus a underscore k g underscore k and the relations form the kernel r 1 display style r underscore 1 of the linear map l 0 m display style l underscore 0 to m defined by g i g i display style g underscore i mapsto g underscore i in other words one has an exact sequence 0 
R one L zero M zero Display style zero to R underscore one to L underscore zero to M to zero. This first syzygy module R one Display style R underscore one depends on the choice of a generating set, but if S one Display style S underscore one is the module which is obtained with another generating set there exist two free modules f 1 display style f underscore 1 and f 2 display style f underscore 2 such that r 1 f 1 s 1 F two display style r underscore one o plus f underscore one kong s underscore one o plus f underscore two where display style o plus denote the direct sum of modules. The second syzygy module is the module of the relations between generators of the first syzygy module. By continuing in this way, one may define the kth syzygy module for every positive integer k. If, for some k, the kth syzygy module is free, then, by taking a basis as a generating set, the next syzygy module and every subsequent one is the zero module. If one does not take a basis as generating sets, then all subsequent syzygy modules are free. Let n be the smallest integer, if any, such that the nth syzygy module of a module m is free or projective. The above property of invariance, up to the sum direct with free modules, implies that n does not depend on the choice of generating sets. The projective dimension of m is this integer, if it exists, or infinity if not. This is equivalent with the existence of an exact sequence 0 r n L N minus one L zero M zero Display style zero long right arrow R underscore N long right arrow L underscore N one long right arrow C D O T S long right arrow L underscore zero long right arrow M long right arrow zero Where the modules L I Display style L underscore I are free and R N Display style R underscore N is projective. It can be shown that one may always choose the generating sets for R N Display style R underscore N being free, that is for the above exact sequence to be a free resolution. Topic statement: Hilbert's syzygy theorem states that if M is a finitely generated module over a polynomial ring k x one x n display style k x underscore one l dots x underscore n in n indeterminates over a field k, then the nth syzygy module of M is always a free module. In modern language, this implies that the projective dimension of M is at most n, and thus that there exists a free resolution 0 l k l k minus 1 l 0 m 0 Display style zero long right arrow l underscore k long right arrow l underscore k one long right arrow c d o t s long right arrow l underscore zero long right arrow m long right arrow zero of length k n. This upper bound on the projective dimension is sharp. That is, there are modules of projective dimension exactly n. The standard example is the field k, which may be considered as a k x 1 x n 
Display style k x underscore one l dots x underscore n module by setting x i c equals zero display style x underscore i c equals zero for every i and every c element of k. For this module, the nth syzygy module is free, but not the n minus one th one for a proof. See section Cauchy complex below. The theorem is also true for modules that are not finitely generated. As the global dimension of a ring is the supremum of the projective dimensions of all modules, Hilbert's syzygy theorem may be restated as the global dimension of k x one x n display style k x underscore one l dots x underscore n is n topic low dimension in the case of zero indeterminates Hilbert's syzygy theorem is simply the fact that every vector space has a basis. In the case of a single indeterminate, Hilbert's syzygy theorem is an instance of the theorem asserting that over a principal ideal ring, every submodule of a free module is itself free. Topic: Cauchy complex. The Cauchy complex, also called complex of exterior algebra, allows, in some cases, an explicit description of all syzygy modules. Let g 1 g k display style g underscore 1 l dots g underscore k be a generating system of an ideal i in a polynomial ring r equals k x 1 x n display style r equals k x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n and let l 1 display style l underscore 1 be a free module of basis g 1 g k display style g underscore 1 l dots g underscore k the exterior algebra of L1 display style L underscore 1 is the direct sum lambda L1 equals T equals 0 KLT display style lambda L underscore 1 equals big O plus underscore T equals 0 carrot K L underscore T where LT display style L underscore T is the free module which has as a basis the exterior products GI1 GIT display style G underscore I underscore 1 wedge C D O T S wedge G underscore I underscore T such that I one I two I T display style I underscore one. In particular, one has L zero equals R display style L underscore zero equals R. Because of the definition of the empty product, the two definitions of L one Display style L underscore one coincide and L T equals zero. Display style L underscore T equals zero for T greater than K. For every positive T, one may define a linear map L T L T minus one display style l underscore t to l underscore t1 by g i 1 g i t j equals 1 t minus 1 j plus 1 g i j g i 1 g caret i j 
g i t display style g underscore i underscore one wedge c d o t s wedge g underscore i underscore t maps to sum underscore j equals one caret t minus one caret j plus one g underscore i underscore j g underscore i underscore one wedge c d o t s wedge wide hat g underscore i underscore j wedge c d o t s wedge g underscore i underscore t where the hat means that the factor is omitted. A straightforward computation shows that the composition of two consecutive such maps is zero, and thus that one has a complex zero L T L T minus one L one L zero R I Display style zero to L underscore T to L underscore T one to C D O T S to L underscore one to L underscore zero to R I. This is the Cauchoule complex. In general, the Cauchoule complex is not an exact sequence, but it is an exact sequence if one works with a polynomial ring. R equals K X one X N display style r equals k x underscore one l dots x underscore n and an ideal generated by a regular sequence of homogeneous polynomials. In particular, the sequence x one x n display style x underscore one l dots x underscore n is regular, and the Cauchoule complex is thus a projective resolution of k equals r x one x n display style k equals r Langle x underscore one l dots x underscore n wrangle. In this case, the nth syzygy module is free of dimension one, generated by the product of all G I display style G underscore I the n minus one th syzygy module is thus the quotient of a free module of dimension n by the submodule generated by x one minus x two plus or minus x n Display style x underscore one x underscore two l dots pm x underscore n. This quotient may not be a projective module, as otherwise there would exist polynomials p i display style p underscore i such that p one x one plus plus P N X N equals one Display style P underscore one X underscore one plus C D O T S plus P underscore N X underscore N equals one which is impossible substituting the X I Display style X underscore I by zero in the latter equality provides one equals zero. This proves that the projective dimension of k equals r x one x n display style k equals r Langle x underscore one l dots x underscore n wrangle is exactly n. The same proof applies for proving that the projective dimension of k x 1 x n g 1 g t display style k x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n langle g underscore 1 l dots g underscore t wrangle is exactly t if the G I display style G underscore I 
form a regular sequence of homogeneous polynomials. Topic. Computation At Hilbert's time, there were no method available for computing syzygies. It was only known that an algorithm may be deduced from any upper bound of the degree of the generators of the module of syzygies. In fact, the coefficients of the syzygies are unknown polynomials. If the degree of these polynomials is bounded, the number of their monomials is also bounded. Expressing that one has a syzygy provides a system of linear equations whose unknowns are the coefficients of these monomials. Therefore, any algorithm for linear systems implies an algorithm for syzygies, as soon as a bound of the degrees is known. The first bound for syzygies as well as for ideal membership problem was given in 1926 by Greta Hermann. Let M a submodule of a free module L of dimension T over K X. 1 x n display style k x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n if the coefficients over a basis of l of a generating system of m have a total degree at most d then there is a constant c such that the degrees occurring in a generating system of the first syzygy module is at most t d 2 c n Display style T D carrot two carrot C N. The same bound applies for testing the membership to M of an element of L. On the other hand, there are examples where a double exponential degree necessarily occurs. However, such examples are extremely rare, and this sets the question of an algorithm that is efficient when the output is not too large. At the present time, the best algorithms for computing syzygies are Grobner basis algorithms. They allow the computation of the first syzygy module, and also, with almost no extra cost, all syzygies modules. Topic. Syzygies and regularity One might wonder which ring theoretic property of a equals k x 1 x n display style a equals k x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n causes the hilbert syzygy theorem to hold it turns out that this is regularity which is an algebraic formulation of the fact that a fine n space is a variety without singularities in fact the following generalization holds let a display style a be a Noetherian ring, then a display style a has finite global dimension if and only if a display style a is regular and the Kroll dimension of a display style a is finite. In that case, the global dimension of a display style a is equal to the Kroll dimension. This result may be proven using Serre's theorem on regular local rings. Topic. See also Quillen-Suslin theorem Hilbert series and Hilbert polynomial